West, Leo Goatley. Um, Leo, this is uh, an extraordinary case, but I suppose one that does echo murders in history. We've been talking a lot about the most prolific child murderers in British history. At one point, Rose West was considered to have that accolade. Uh, do you see similarities in this case? I'm not sure if there are similarities. Both, of course, are prolific. Um, I think that the, the most concerning thing about the Letby case is the breach of trust, the abominable breach, breach of trust by her because of the special position she was in. This was a neonatal ward for the most vulnerable human beings um, alive. Children born prematurely, children with illnesses. This should have been the place where they had the best chance to live. And they were so cruelly take, taken away. Um, you know, my feelings are for the sadness and despair of the parents and families. I think it's dreadful. Um, with Rose Wester was betrayal by her and Fred in that they did offer tea and sympathy to many of their victims, um, where they were running away from difficult situations in children home, children's homes. And then they would, of course, abuse them for their sexual gratification and they, those young teenage girls would end up murdered. But um, I just think that the, the wickedness is um, more insidious and uh, um, it, it's something you just, you, you don't really want to believe that this can be really the way it is. Um, I think Lucy Letby had a strong defence from what I can gather. No one can be sure of what the evidence is uh, and precisely how strong the arguments are unless you're in court. Uh, and of course, this was a very lengthy trial. Um, so you just hope that, hope against hope that this can't be true. So it is, it is uh, most distressing, very distressing, um, uh, that this could happen. I think these kind of uh, wicked, aberrant um, uh, situations are very, very rare. I think uh, Fred and Rose West were very rare, uh, very rare, and I think even more rare would be the prospect of uh, uh, an evil uh, enterprise within a hospital with such innocent victims. Leah, what do you think it is about the psyche of these women who kill, kill repeatedly, who are so cool well, and calm on the surface, but evil and calculating underneath? I'm not sure if you can uh, draw some common denominator I think in Rose West's case, she was um, a very damaged person from an early age. She had suffered a lot of abuse. Um, she and Fred West dovetailed. Fred West had been abused and had already been a killer before he met Rose West. Um, and I think Rose West had this extreme, contained the extreme violence that she would unleash um, uh, and of course, there was the sexual dimension, which was certainly promoted by Fred West. With Lucy Letby, it's much more difficult to fathom what on earth, what on earth motivated her. Motivation doesn't matter. It, the jury have found her guilty of seven murders and seven attempted murders. Um, but as for her psyche, as for what prompted this, I don't know enough about Lucy Letby to say there must be something that in her life that somehow was a trigger for this. But I don't know. And presumably, uh, hopefully, the authorities um, will want to try and understand her during what is likely to be a very long, probably whole life incarceration.